Exciting day at the Kling Memorial Library. We have eight great books that have been generously given to us by Greenbelt Bake and Trust. These are all Caldecott or Newberry award-winning books. So let's check them out. These will be added to our collection this week. Let's start with Genesis Begins Again by Alicia D. Williams. There are 96 reasons why my 13 year old, why 13 year old Genesis dislikes herself. She knows the exact number because she keeps a list. Because her family is always being put out of their house. Because her dad has a gambling problem and maybe a drinking problem too. Because Genesis knows this is all her fault. Because she wasn't born looking like mama. Because she is too black. Genesis is determined to fix her family, and she's willing to try anything to do so, even if it means harming herself in the process. But when she starts to find a thing or two that she actually likes about herself, she discovers that changing her own attitude is the first step in helping change others. So Genesis begins again. Next, let's look at... The Undefeated by Kwame Alexander and Kadir Nelson. So this book is really neat. It is a poem, an illustrated poem. This is for the unforgettable, unforgettable the unafraid, the undefeated. This is a love letter to America, to black America, to the grit, passion, and perseverance of our greatest artists, athletes, and activists, to the dreamers, to the strength and bravery of everyday people caught in the web of history, with references to lyrics and lines originally shared by our most celebrated heroes, this poem digs into the not-so-distant past to underline the endurance and spirit of those surviving and thriving in the present. So this book, um, it, like I said, it is a poem and um, it actually has um, some bonus material. So if you look in the back of the book, um, you can have the, we'll look at some of the illustration. Um, you can download a, the um, like an audible, the audio version of the author reading the poem so you can read along. So check that out. Information is in the back of the book. So you can read the book. Um, you can read and listen. Um, yeah. Okay. Next, Scary Stories for Young Foxes by Christian McKay Heidecker. Now, this book you're going to want to read with someone, but it would be more fun if you're reading it at night around the campfire. The haunted season has arrived in the antler wood. No fox kit is safe. Seven little foxes in the twisted antler wood, listening to stories much later than they should. The first flees the teacher with dark gooey eyes. The second from six sisters whose tongues tell lies. The third escapes a woman who peels foxes' skins. The fourth slinks away from Golgotharish's grin. The fifth wets the ground when he smells Mr. Scratch. The sixth turns tail when the paw finds its match. The seventh little fox in the wood all alone, facing down a ghost beneath branches of bone. One little fox stays the whole night, though, but can she make it to the end? Better yet, can you? So, Scary Stories for Young Foxes, Christian McKay Heidecker. All right, here is the new kid. This is a graphic novel by Jerry Craft. Middle school is hard enough without being the new kid. This is a story about Jordan, and he goes to a new school, and um, it is a graphic novel. So if those of you who are either enjoy graphic novels or getting into graphic novels, this is a great one to start in. Um, Jordan starts a new, um, is the new kid at a private school. And this is about his journey and he illustrates it. He, the character, is a comic writer. So yes, The New Kid by Jerry Craft. Aww. 
bear came along. Once there was a river that flowed night and day, but it didn't know it was a river until Bear came along. Bear is on a big adventure, but he doesn't know how big until his friends join in. What will these very different woodland animals find at the end of their journey? Maybe the most important lesson of all, that they're in it together. By, this is by Richard T. Morris. Look at a couple pages. Take some sneak peeks. All right. Other words from home. This is by Jasmine Warga. I'm learning how to be sad and happy all at the same time. Jude never thought she'd be leaving her beloved older brother and father behind all the way across the ocean in Syria. But when things in her hometown start becoming volatile, Jude and her mother are sent to live in Cincinnati with relatives. At first, everything in America seems too fast and too loud. The American moves, movies Jude has always loved haven't quite prepared her for starting school in the U.S. And her new label of Middle Eastern, an identity she's never known before. But this life also brings unexpected surprises. There are new friends, a whole new family, and a school musical that Jude just might try out for. Maybe America, too, is a place where Jude can be seen as she really is. This lyrical, life-affirming story is about losing and finding home, and most importantly, about finding yourself. Double Bass Blues by Andrea Loney. Illustrated by Rudy Gutierrez. The illustrations in this book are a big part of what tells the story. So let's take a peek. So this one, there aren't very much words, so you really have to pay attention to the pictures in this one. So we'll just look at a couple pages. Oh, isn't that just stunning? And our last one, Going Down Home with Daddy, written by Kelly Starling Lyons and illustrated by Daniel Minter. One reu reunion morning, we rise before the sun. Daddy hums as he packs our car with suitcase and a cooler full of snacks. He says there's nothing like going down home. Down home is Granny's house. Down home is where Lil Allen and his grandparents and sister will join grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins in a rich celebration of family history. Down home is where Lil Allen will hear stories of the of the ancestors and visit the land that she has meant has meant so much to all of them. And down home is where all of the children will find their special ways to pay tribute to family history. Sis will sing, His Eye is on the Sparrow, Granny's favorite song. Isaiah will read Mother to Son by Langston Hughes. Devin has made a scrapbook in Granny's favorite color blue. What will little Alan do? Going down home with Daddy. Thank you, Greenbelt Bank and Trust, for all of these books. We will get these in our collection and you can check them out.